this author coming to this, hang on. That did not go very far. This author coming to the stage has written four parenting books and has published one of them. <laughs> After his fourth divorce, he decided to keep it real with his new book, Trials of Being a Decent Stepfather on Trial. Please welcome Sean A. Sisterman. Hi, or hello, or howdy, or bonjour, or bonjour, or yo, or as they say in Hawaii, bye, <laughs> or aloha if you're trying to be fancy with it. I am Sean A. Sisterman. That is Sean A. Sisterman with two T's. The two T's are in my middle name. Asked. Sean asked Sisterman. A S T T. As you all know, I have written several books. Getting Back with Your Ex Wife. I did not complete that one. <laughs> getting Back with Your Ex. Getting Back at Your Ex Wife that you were originally trying to get back at. That one did not complete as well. And the last one different ways to say hello. <laughs> the book that I am publishing now is, as you all know, uh, different ways to be a stepdad. They made me uh, change the title um, to The Trials of Being a Decent Stepfather on Trial. I'd like to read a quick insert, if you will, in my book. So, there I was on trial for a crime of being a decent stepfather. The judge said, do you solemnly swear? I interrupted, hell, I swear all the frickin' time. <laughs> the gavel made an inappropriate interruption of my well thought out joke. By the judge's voice, I could tell this was gonna be a long week or seven days, depending on your calendar. How many restraining orders have you broken? Asked the lawyer with the bad breath. I should have known not to hire him because he always popped in garlic pills for supplements. None that I know of, unless you include the ones from my previous wives. You see, people of the audience, I am a decent stepdad, meaning when my life leaves me, I do not leave my kids no matter how bad the marriage was, or how long or short. <laughs> you see, my stepfather left me when I was 19. I remember that day. It was a rainy day, and I told him to leave. <laughs> he did. He failed the test. I, however, will not fail that test. I had four wives, two of them are deceased in my heart. <laughs> but all of them have kids that will never pass away in my heart. Even if they do die in some awful or justified way, I will never leave. My first wife had three kids. I practically raised them myself for a week. After that, she did the rest. I still send them birthday cards. My second wife, who is dead to me, had four kids. All of them with the same man, she said. I don't believe that. But nevertheless, I still talk to them daily in my heart and on Instagram. My third wife had no kids of her own, but she did have a strong relationship with her nieces and nephews. I, however, did not. They were jerks. 
You come to one Christmas blacked out and no one forgets. I, however, did forget that day. But I did not forget the time that I revisited next Christmas and I was met with a punch to the face. I left those kids a card signed, yours truly, your papa, or real dad. That became a hairy situation, which I cannot talk about legally. My fourth wife had kids my age. Yes, I am a cougar hunter. She wants a restraining order for me, so that is why I'm in court. I, however, want to see her kids. She has one beautiful daughter and one son, my age. And the daughter is also my age. <laughs> and one grandchild. Even though her daughter is an adult, I wouldn't leave her for the world. Or her son. That is still my kid. Repeat after me. You never leave your kids. You never leave your kids. That's right. You don't have to like me, or you'll res but you do have to respect me. That's what I said to all my kids. And ironically, that's the chapter of my first book. You gotta be a strong stepfather. There's no such thing as a weak stepfather. I would even start out with a strong spanking. And I said, your mother will get one too. <laughs> this makes no one feel uncomfortable. Here are the rules of being a decent stepfather. Number one, buy your kids a gift and find out what they like. Get to know them. This way, you can take it back or hold it against them if they ever disrespect you. Number two, remind them of how expensive that gift was this does not work if you do not follow rule number one. Rule number three, go to their sports games. There's no such thing as being too drunk for a sports activity. I yelled at the umpire and was kicked out of that chess tournament. Number four, you can always be too drunk for sports activities. This is true. I don't like it but it is true. I have to say it. Number five, there are some things you cannot do on school property. I go into that further in detail in my book, Different Ways to Say Hello. <laughs> Number six, if you take your daughter out on a daddy-daughter date, make sure the amount of dates are less than the, your current wife. This is important. <laughs> Number seven, make sure you spend less money on the daddy-daughter dates that you do on your current wife. <laughs> Number eight, do not expose that you're thinking of leaving your mother on a daddy-daughter date. <laughs> Don't do it. What happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Vegas was the name of my stepdaughters, and currently, my girlfriend. And ironically, enough, <laughs> and ironically, what happens in Vegas does stay in Vegas for nine months. Yes. Number nine. You're going to be a grandma is not a good way to break up with your current wife. <laughs> your future brother-in-law and son will not like that. <laughs> he has wrote me, he did not like that. And number 10, repeat after me of course, never leave your kids. Repeat after me, never leave your kids. Thank you so much. <laughs>